Hello you guys, what's up? It's me, Allie, and look where I'm at. I'm in Vegas, I don't know if you can really tell where I'm at, but I'm in Vegas, I'm in my bathroom getting ready, I just woke up, and I'm gonna be going to the Magic Show. It's a wholesale convention where I can find new brands, I can shop um, the lines of the brands that I order from. I'm gonna be shopping for a fall, winter, and holiday. I'm super excited, I wanna make a video all about this for you guys. Um, so many of you guys ask like what to expect, what you should wear, stuff like that. And um, I just get tons of questions about these types of wholesale trade shows. And I'm gonna vlog the whole thing from start to finish so you guys can you know, know what to expect. I'll try to vlog the best I can, but it's kind of embarrassing doing it in public, so I'm gonna try to be incognito about it. Um, but let me show you my breakfast. Look what I just ordered. Uh, what is that called? Eggs Benedict. I got some orange juice, I got coffee. It looks so good. And then look at my room. Let me go this way because the window's gonna like blow the light out. But you guys, look at my room. Okay, I have a really funny story about this. So I'm really happy with this room. It's nice and big, a lot bigger than the room that I paid for. So I watched this YouTube video of this guy that was visiting Vegas and he said, he was like, my friend told me that if you tip your reservation agent, um, like a nice little tip and you're discreet about it that they'll most likely upgrade you because it's like a courteous thing to do if somebody gives you a tip but they're not supposed to do it really um, but it just kind of like depends who you get and so I was standing in line and I was super nervous and I was like oh I really want a nice room I want like a, an upgrade I'm just gonna try it if like the person is nice and like I get good vibes from them and so it was my turn to go up to check in um, for this hotel and it was like a girl my age and I was like okay I'm definitely doing it this is easy and so she was so sweet and I was like extra nice to her and like asking how her day was going. I would ask that anyways, but I was being really nice and um, she asked for my ID and my credit card and I wanted to do the tip before she like, you know, confirmed, confirmed my room in the computer. And so I slipped a 20 like with my ID and my credit card and then she was like, oh, and was like a little confused. I was like, oh no, that's a tip for you. And she was like, oh, certainly, absolutely. Let's see what we can do here. <laughs> and like, she was so sweet. And she was like, oh, it's so funny. We had a VIP cancel. And then she put me in this room. And I guess it's like nicer um, than the room that I was supposed to go in. And it's like on the top floor, it's on the 20th floor. So I'm really happy about that. I'll show you guys my view. I'm just like so happy to get away from work, you guys. I have been um, really burnt out. And just like, when I come to these trade shows, it really motivates me and gives me like lots of new ideas. I always meet um, other boutique owners and stuff like that. Like I was talking to a woman on the plane coming over here and it's just like really interesting comparing what other people do like with their boutiques and their ideas and stuff like that. It's cool to talk to other women that are like open to sharing and stuff and it's like of course I'm gonna share my good ideas with a boutique owner from Kentucky. Like I don't care she's in Kentucky. I'm here or you know what I mean like there's no need to like hold all of your secrets like there's other people in this with you at this convention and it's cool to like meet other people I always meet tons of people coming to these and I love seeing the brands in person it's so much better to be able to like touch and feel I order pretty much everything online so it, it means a lot for me to like see the fabric it's good for me to like see certain items in person because a lot of the times um, the companies will make different styles of the same fabric so I can kind of remember I'll be like oh yeah I remember that like this is horrible quality I'm definitely not ordering from this line or wow this line is like up and coming it's brand new I'm gonna pick this up today I'm also looking for um, like candles and little trinkets and stuff like that I noticed that a lot of people just want to come into my boutique and buy something and they get really bummed if like you know things aren't fitting how they wanted to or you know maybe they don't like the things they tried on whatever the reason is and I want those customers that couldn't find clothes to you know make a purchase to be able to find some like small home decor item or like something that they love that they don't have to try on like a keychain or just like little things like that so I'm gonna be looking for little trinkets maybe like cell phone cases I don't know I'm open to anything I'm really excited I'm gonna eat this breakfast I'm gonna get jacked up on this coffee here and wake up my bathtub is making crazy noises. I don't know what's going on, if you guys can hear that. Um, but yeah. Hey guys, I'm all ready. I just curled my hair and got my outfit on. And just thought I would show you guys because one of the main questions I get about these shows is what should I wear? And the advice that I can give you guys is that there's really no right or wrong outfit. Just make sure you're comfortable. 
I'm gonna be walking around all day and these heels are pretty comfortable. I should probably be wearing like my Birkenstocks or something like that, but I just wanted to wear these with this outfit. And yeah, um, I think it'll be comfortable enough. I have a little backpack. Um, last year I had my purse and then I had like all these totes that I got from the show. My shoulder was dying. So I have this really cute fold over backpack. It's from my store um, and I just love it. So I'm gonna be throwing everything into that and another piece of advice that I always um, make sure to give people about these shows is to bring business cards and guess what I forgot my business cards so I'm so bummed about that because now that every vendor I go to and that I place orders with I have two different stores two different credit cards that are for those stores two different shipping addresses billing addresses and stuff like that and it just takes up so much time so it really sucks that I forgot that so I'm gonna have to, you know, like write that out for each person. But um, actually I take the back, I have three uh, cards, three addresses and three billing addresses because I forgot my online store as well. So yeah, that's super cool. Um, but it is very hot today. It's like 104 out there. I just had my eggs Benedict overlooking this nice pool. Um, but I guess I'm gonna go into the heat and go check it out. Um, yeah, no comment. That's where I'm saying this is the Venetian. The ceilings are crazy. This is like the main entrance lobby. It's a huge maze here. It's really confusing. But yeah, I'm gonna go get an Uber to the convention center and we'll see how it goes from there. And I don't even know if I just got dropped off at the right one. But there's a bunch of taxis out here that I could hop into if I need to get back in. But these places are huge. So I'm gonna go in and get my pass printed out. Um, I made a reservation online, and then all you gotta do is go in and print out the actual badge, and it's pretty simple. So hopefully this will go smoothly. Picked up my badge, it has my boutique name on it. Apparently I'm in the shoe convention center, which I did not know I was going to. But I do need a new shoe brand. I love Sam Edelman. I'm gonna see what the price points are. Hopefully I can find something that's affordable and like appropriate for my boutique. But it just keeps going on and on like can you see how far back and how many boots there are just for the shoes so let's go check it out as i was in the wrong area um so i am going to the clothing portion i'm going to the clothing portion right now i wasn't really feeling the shoes they're all super expensive they're starting at like 30 dollars price point so i'm gonna go check out the clothes and we'll see what that looks like All the showrooms, it like really inspires me for my backdrops, and I'm definitely gonna go to Emory Park. I love that brand. Never heard a show show I love Wild Honey. Correction, check out this brand. Please guys, I, <laughs> I just ran into some subscribers. Yeah. How do you guys feel? Great. Great. Do you find some good brands? Oh yeah. Nice. So excited. <laughs> Everything is organized um, by shipment date, so they have the tags here with the prices when it ships uh, and yeah i'm gonna grab a rep and then pull a bunch of items and place orders for all three stores okay so here's how everything is organized they have little colored beads on the top um, and then on the tags they'll have the price so just for this little crop top this is 17 dollars I'm obviously not gonna buy that, but uh, we have really cute denim here. Definitely gonna check some of that out. I love this jacket. Love some distressed denim right now. Let's see how much this jacket is. It's 24, and it looks like this is gonna ship in October because it has one of the red tags on it. So I'm definitely gonna get that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start uh, making a little pile and I'll grab a rep and then we'll ring it all up and they'll have it shipped to my boutique um, at that time. These boots are so right there, cute. Grayson. Gives me so many good ideas. Hey, I am actually wearing that bralette right now. But yeah, it gives you a lot of good ideas for display. 
guys, I found somebody who has watched my videos. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. What's the name of your boutique? Blushinglotusboutique.com. She's down in Huntington, right? Yeah. Yeah. But just thought we'd say hi. Hello. Hello, you guys. What's up? It's a new day. Um, I had a really good day at Magic yesterday. I kind of forgot to end the vlog, but I met so many of you guys, which was crazy. And yeah, that was really cool. I really enjoyed talking to some of you and you guys are so sweet. I love meeting you guys. And it just blows my mind that like anybody watches these videos um, in the first place. But yeah, I just drank some coffee. I'm overlooking my little view of the pool and put on my makeup and I'm ready to go. Today, my goal, is to try to meet one of the reps from Brixton. It's like at a different show called Project and this show is a little more pricey brands that like don't really match up too well with my boutique but I really wanna carry Brixton and I've been emailing them, I've called them, I've done everything and nobody will get back to me so I'm gonna try to meet somebody in person because I know that my customers would love that brand and um, it's a hat brand for those of you that don't know. You should check it out for your boutique. It's super cute. So this is what I'm wearing today, day two. I'm super casual. I look like I'm going to the beach right now and I don't even care. Hello you guys, this is Courtney. Hi! I just met her and we're shopping it up, trying to find some cute styles. So, yeah. yeah. What's the name of your boutique? Saishan Boutique. Alright, well, I'll link that down below. Yeah. Go check it out. And yeah. to end my video and say goodbye to you guys. I had to go to the mirror so I could face the camera this way because my front facing camera is broken and I just got this brand new iPhone so I don't know what's up with that but I'll take care of it when I get back and um, yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope it gave you kind of a behind the scenes feel and lets you know what to expect if you want to attend any shows in the future um, but make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I love helping you guys out. I love showing you my life and definitely want to make a lot more videos. I'm going to be working at my Reno store a little bit over the next few days. I'm going to be hiring a couple of new employees. So I have a lot of really good videos coming out for you guys and definitely make sure to leave this video a big thumbs up if you haven't already. It helps my videos spread across YouTube so much more. And yeah, um, I will talk to you guys next time and thanks for watching. Bye.